guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to the final episode of Otaku Elves. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. Ooh, help the child. Mm. You just try your best. No, she lands that ish perfectly, which I don't think she will. Excuse me. Hello. Hold up. Maybe you should do it. <laughs> oh. 
Um. Anna, can you explain that in like prettier terms? Because saying the wind is now ready at the point, mm -mm, I don't understand. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my God. Baby is really trying to call somebody like, oh, oh, damn. You know, baby, it's okay. It's okay. At least you're honest on that. Because some people would lie and be like, I am perfect. Be like, hmm. You got this, baby. So nervous, so. Like, I am scared you're gonna hurt me, slash, hit me. Take your time. Breathe. Oh, she ready to go. <laughs> Okay, that's one. Oh, God.
so But it's in! Well, you know, all this fine with that. Homegirl got food. And there goes everything else. <laughs> you, you think it's revenge on the situation? Well, no, it would be the other way around. Like what? Oh, I hate when that happens. When you either bite like your cheek or something. It's worse when you bite your tongue. Like, ugh. <laughs> You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Baby, you're an immortal. You're not going to die.
That's sad. Hi, sweetie. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, I was about to say it myself. <laughs> what do you want the bones for? We hope. Hmm. Two of them. There you go. Slightly good luck. Why is a mechanical pencil luck? Okay. Excellent luck. Yeah! Grandpa, yeah. <laughs> More anger. <laughs> All right, final thoughts on this. This is so, this is so good hugely underrated i mean because like i i kind of okay so of course like the first what week or two when i decided to watch this um i did hear some things even like you know sometimes through twitter or like youtube or whatever but um i didn't hear as much once i got into it 
But, I mean, you know, sometimes how you just find it in, like, a random tweet or whatever. And you'd be like, hmm, what is this? And then you just go on Twitter and you even say, what is this? And then you just, you know, instantly get a reply. And you'd be like, oh, it's this. Definitely watch it. But it was sweet. I mean, you know, once again, never would have thought in my wildest dreams to have freaking Serval from Kimono Friends and freaking Cure Melody, aka freaking What's Your Fish from Kill a Kill, in a show together. But it worked, and it really, truly, they went with it, and they did so freaking well with it. And I really cannot wait to see what the heck will be next for these two. Because if you would have told me when I watched Kimono Friends and seeing Servo and being like, oh, hey, she's going to be in this one anime with a pretty hair in a couple of years from now, I probably would have looked at you like you were crazy. I mean, how I even said that with Senko. And with that show, you took two characters that I never thought would be together in a show and just put them in the show and I really love when casting just works like that you never really know who can be in the show together and I love that I sleep. <laughs> Now, I would love to see a season two for this. I mean, because it's very much, like, a possibility. It does make you wonder, like, chapter-wise, where they are currently in the manga. And I'm guessing that has to be, like, what? The first maybe, like, 12 to 24 chapters of this series. And then who knows how much the, you know, the manga has currently done with it and such. Because I think, also, I think one thing I did here, they were like, well, this is newly, newly, like coming into a series and such and it's so crazy that it got hugely popular very quickly and then also an anime super quickly so I, I think probably if they really wanted to they could do an OVA or like just a random one-off episode or whatever which I would like to see or they could do like what Horimiya and um the quintessential quintuplets are currently doing where it's like oh hey the series is kind of over and they're going back and they're doing stories that people possibly wanted to see in the mangas from the mangas that unfortunately did not for come to tuition and such like that, which would be really interesting. But I would have to say like the, the series would have to go on like a little bit longer. I would have to wait until like, let's say it got to volume like 12 or whatever, um, 20 ish like that. Or like if I look at Darling, um, <laughs> Darling, my dress of Darling in a nutshell, um, as me with the quote unquote season two, which it's it, it is season two, but we don't know if it is continuing or if it's going to be something else because we barely really have heard news since the season two confirming and such. So there's a lot of things with that show that they need to do. Like, of course, um, I'll, I'll say one thing and probably all they're going to forget this in a couple of months, but I'll say it now. Um, the uh cross-dressing modding situation where she dresses as one of her favorite um guy characters in the anime for um the school festival which is like the best freaking thing like she's so freaking pretty and gorgeous and i'm like oh my god look at my baby um and then everything else is currently going to happen in it because it's been a while since i've read it because i've been so busy with everything else and plus i'm now kind of collecting the series and such but when you're trying to buy them and everybody, you know, sells the shit out and you're like, bruh. But then at the same time, because I only have volume one and two and I need volumes three to, I think, nine. So that's still a lot. But yeah, I mean, if they really wanted to, like, I'd be fine with the OVA, whether it's 30 minutes, an hour, minute long. <laughs> um something just to like bring these characters back because this was hugely underrated i mean just like how 
I was with Over the Moon for You season one and how I said in like my season two for it, if I felt the same. Like this was hugely underrated, but it did get a little peak moments of it where people were talking about it and gushing over it and such. So I think it deserves to get like something else. Like, I mean, with this ending and I say this with majority of shows that do endings like this, it's a cliffhanger ending. It's a, oh, like a see you later ending where it's like, hey, here's a possibility of a season two, but you're not really going to get it. But at the same time, since they know how popular this show is, I can see it getting it maybe in a couple of years. Like I could say about four to five years, maybe. But I mean, honestly, I would have liked to seen this last episode featuring all nine, nope, six of them together, the elves and their caretakers on them. But no, I get it. I mean, you're scrapped for time, but I understand like it was a two part episode continuing from last week onto this week. And then an extra episode about Elsa, <laughs> Elda and her luck and shit. And so I thought that was still sweet. But yes, they could have ended the show with the six of them together. Plus Koyuzu and doing her thing. I think my favorite episode has to be the Koyuzu thing because she's precious baby girl. And I would love to see more on her, but you know, I mean, right now I'm just, I'm satisfied, but I'm not satisfied. I still want more with the show and how you can still relate to Elda, even though this woman is like <laughs> so many years old and you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. I completely understand you all wanting to order things because yes, I order, mm, yeah, I do. I order way too much shit. I just recently ordered myself something yesterday i just ordered myself something yesterday and then before that the last thing i ordered was a 3ds finally and thank god it was modded so now i can play pokemon again <laughs> but <laughs> I, i'm like at the same time because i am saving for a car and everything else i'm like i need to stop spending money but then at the same time i'm like i need to spend money and such and so you know you're you're just a working girl but you know hi you do what you gotta do. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction view towards the entirety of Otaku Elf. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially tomorrow for the start of Summer Anime, a.k.a. Sunshine in the Mirror for Love Live Super no <laughs> wrong superstar love life sunshine and then the later on in the week for the continuation of summer which is so many other things and then who knows maybe a potential season two for this show or something for it but until then i will see you guys officially all next time bye